Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be chatting all about underrated products that I think you deserve to know about. This stuff is good. This is the kind of stuff that I use on a very regular basis. If you look in the description box, I really try to do a good job about listing what I use on my face as makeup. And I have items here that I have been so into and just really, really love. So I wanted to sit down again and do a underrated products. Before we hop into the video, first off, make sure you're subscribed and ring the bell because you need to do that so that you are notified of my upcoming videos and I will be doing more like this where I bring to you super good stuff of all price points and just, you know, subscribe, turn the bell on. But let's start out with something that's higher end that is from Mac and I feel like I am the only one using this over and over and over and over. This did get sent in a PR box and it came with their you know, 24 hour concealers, which I put to the test for a full 24 hours. I will link that video below. I did that side by side with the foundation and I reached for the concealer. Oh my gosh, do you guys hear that? It's alien invasion in my home. Oh my gosh, sometimes the planes are like so loud. Ugh. This got sent with that concealer pack. The concealers I still use. Um, I traveled with one of them and like, it's good, but then I always go back to shape tape. I just, eh, I just kind of have a love affair that is really, really strong with shape tape. So even when uh, I'm impressed with other things, I always go back. Okay, so this was in that kit. I started using this every single day and then it just went with me everywhere. And then now if you look at the description box, you'll see this guy right here. This is a Studio Fix Sculpt and Shape Contour Palette. So that's the shade names on here. These are, you know, very well known and loved shades from MAC. I just really love that it is all here in this palette. And these contour shades for me work so beautifully. I feel like my nose contour has been really, really good. No one has been calling me out on it. And you guys, usually I'd like scroll through the comments and someone would be like, I can see two orange lines. And I'm like, oh, you know, like that happens. We have good makeup days, we have bad makeup days, but this tone and the silkiness, the texture, everything through and through of these three shades that do look similar, but they're very different, I love. And then having this right here as kind of a more shocking highlight for brow bone, inner corner, or any like light accentuation on the nose, I enjoy. What I pretty much do every day is mix these two right here and I set my under eye concealer with that. And then if I feel like I'm having like a full glam day, I will bake on top of it. And it kind of helps everything to not pull and be weird when I'm kicking the bake off. It's like this nice coating that just adds a silky base for the bake. There's a lot of steps, but I like it. And I thought you guys should know about this. Like, I mean, I know it's like holiday season and all the packaging is like glitter and everything magic. And then you look at this and you're like, how boring. But you know what? You need this. It works. Flesh Beauty, the shade Puffy and the shade Jiggly. I really like the names. Uh, this is a, a cheek. This is a, 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 a. <sighs> Deep breaths. Okay, Jiggly and Puffy for your cheeks, for your lips. You decide, you use it however you want to. I personally don't like these thicker items on my cheeks because generally they tend to be really waxy and I am afraid of breakouts and clogging my pores. So I don't play that game, but I love these on the lips, okay? It is just enjoyable and creamy and moisturizing and beautiful. Has a nice mirror in here. Hello, the most gorgeous packaging. I love the pink and then this like deep chocolatey bronzy. You can just kind of like tap this on the lips. So these two are so beautiful, 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 beautiful. Another beautiful item that I have not worn on camera, but man, I really want to. Okay, so I was sent all of these Eloise liquid shadows and this is my favorite one and it is the most bold of the bunch. This is called Emerald Treasure. So I recently went through all of my liquid shadows, liners, and I got rid of probably half of it, which is a lot for me and I didn't film a declutter or anything like that, but I got rid of half and I was swatching everything. And this one, I just like, I kept looking down at my arm and I'm like, this is weird. It's so bright, it's so great. And I did this and it like stayed put and I'm like, so I tried it on my eyes and it's just magical. It's similar to the uh, Stila Magnificent Metals, you know, liquid shadows. We know what liquid shadow is. It's just this color and the texture that I personally think is so unique. I don't have anything else in my 
my glitter drawer. Cause we all have one of those, right? I'm in a weird mood today. I am so sorry, you guys. Like I have been a working woman juggling 5,000 things. And then now I'm finally sitting down to film and my brain is just like, ah, you know, so bear with me. This is so nice. I'm trying to figure out if there's like space in my eye look to like show you any of this. Maybe let's just like do a little, oh yes, oh yes. Oh my gosh, I'm a mermaid. <sighs> Shiny. And it stays all day long. That's why I love this so much. All right, so this is a home run. They do have a bunch of other shades. Be warned, some of them are very liquidy and I don't like that. The brighter, more colorful ones, like there's a bright gold. If you see the micro glitter in there, those are the ones texture wise that I really, really enjoy. Moving right along, we have from Pop Beauty, something that I showed you guys in an unboxing. And then I was just like, ah, glitter. It's kind of embarrassing actually how much I love glitter, um, but I just do because I'm thirsty. And apparently we're attracted to glitter because of the ocean and survival. And we like the glittery top of the ocean to remind us to drink water. It's an article I read. It made sense to me. Okay, so glitter, central, hello. I'm wearing this on my eyes. I'm wearing this one right here on my pinky, just right in here. This stuff is the easiest to work with in the world. It literally just like, I'm gonna decorate my shoulder. It just pats right on. You don't need a glitter glue. You don't need anything else. You just pop it on and you are done. You're done up. You're ready to party. You're ready to go out. You're ready to get noticed. The color setup for the shadows, you know, they pair with the glitter. There's not really like a transition shade and a deep brown to make your entire look complete. But the fact that the glitters in here are so great and that you could, you know, pair and use these shadows with it, I just think this is an excellent palette. Moving on. I have some eyeshadow that I would like to chat with you guys about. I have teased this in so many videos and I was like, I'm gonna get around to it guys, I promise. I will show you it all in a video soon. I just really wanted to get to know it first, um, but this is more of an indie brand and this palette, man, I've been loving on this palette so much. It is beautiful. Okay, so on the inner portion of my eyes, you see that kind of purpley, beautiful shade right there? That's this one. It's just like, it's mm, it's good. This is the Freya Diva Palette Odin's Eye. I'll link it below. I don't know about this brand. I am just happy that I received it in PR and fell hard for it. I just wanted to share it with you guys. So this is it. And I will share with you what's on my eyes today. I started out with Tor in the crease, really pulled that on the outer edge, packed the outer edge completely. So it was just like bright orange, brought a lot of the orange to the inner. I then took room and I packed that with my finger all over the lid. You do want to do this before you do your face makeup. I should have used a glitter glue. I was just being lazy and I didn't and I wish I had, so don't be me. And then I did a little bit of Anon, which is kind of this like greeny mermaidy shade. And I just wanted a little bit of that to kind of poke through. You can't really even see it now that I decided to cover it up with glitter, but I did dip into that. I took the shade Jewel on a flat brush and kind of really packed that on the very outer edge leading into that orange shade. I then took this one right here just for a little added depth. I threw on some liner and decided it would be a wise idea to do a wing liner. And then I, uh, I was just rushing because to be honest, you guys, daylight savings is like screwing me up. It's getting darker earlier. So when I see the sun going down and I know that I need to film, I'm like, oh my God, like sit down and film. Whenever you're in a rush, that's the wrong time to do a wing liner. Even if you are skilled, it's the wrong time. Just step away from the liner another day, you know? Um, but I made that mistake, we made it work, moving on. So then I put on um, some lashes and I dipped my finger in glitter, packed that on a little bit right in the center here. Super happy with it. Um, I did, I didn't mention to you guys, I did take that orange shade uh, tour and I have it smoked on the lower lash line, but the look was pretty quick. It took me maybe like 10, ish minutes and then the liner took me a few more because I kind of um, was having a hard time matching the two. 
Um, but beyond that, this was like a pretty easy look. So this is highly recommended. I love it. Uh, moving into some H&M powder that I feel is a dupe for the Hourglass Ambient Powders. This is a baked item and it goes on the skin so nicely. I'm wearing it today. This is the only highlight that I have on my face. So you see that like nice sheen right here where it's just kind of glow and kind of just catching the light. It's not blinding. It just looks kind of soft and satiny and smooth. That's the kind of look that you will achieve with a product like this. It is beautiful. I feel that H&M makeup is so underrated and I wanna continue bringing you guys, you know, just more of their stuff as I try it. So let me know in the comments if you wanna see more of it. I'm happy to do that because I really love their stuff. Okay, I have a few liners. I have one from Alme, surprisingly, like, oh my gosh. Again, on the floor, swatching my arms, looking through everything and I was like, um, okay, is this Pat McGrath because this is like the deepest, richest, like matte, creamy, beautiful liner. It is so stunning, I can't even handle it. And it is at the drugstore and it is from a brand that no offense, Alme, a lot of us just kind of cruise on by and don't pay attention to. This one is phenomenal. This is the Intense Eye Color Gel Smooth Liner in Espresso. I also have a recommendation for brighter liners. This is the LA Girl Fine Line. This particular one is in Emerald. They have many other shades, but the way that this dries down is so nice and these will only set you back a handful of dollars. So I had to recommend this as well. I have a dupe for an Anastasia liner that I love so much. It is the liquid metallic kind of champagne gold one that I use. I use it all of the time. Is it up here? Ah, it is. Okay, this one. This is the metallic luster liner in liquid gold. So this right here is stunning and gorgeous and beautiful, but I got you a dupe. And this is from H&M. This is in the shade, no one knows. This is in Grand Cru. Oh, they're the same. This is like beautiful right in this area here. I love a pop of champagne gold. It just brightens everything up. It's a good way to highlight the inner corner if you don't wanna fluff a ton of shine everywhere. Just kind of hit it right in this region here. Beautiful. We have one item for the hair. You guys, if you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, why not? I don't post as much as I should, but I do a lot of stories over there. Um, it's just Glam Life Guru. So my name over there is like my old school name because that's just how I set it up. Anyway, so I was talking about what I travel with. I was kind of digging through um, my makeup bag and like showing you itty bitty skincare and this and that. And I mentioned this and I got a few questions about it. This is the Pang Pang Hair Shadow. I use the shade light brown. I got this in Sephora in Thailand. And you have this little kind of sponge bit right here. You go into the actual hair powder right here. You pick her up and then you go in this area. And if you want to conceal any areas, cover up grays, conceal a, you know, you know, your scalp is showing whatever. It does the job so quickly. Now what I use this for, and the reason I got excited to find a product like this is because I don't necessarily hate my hairline. There's not that much that I wanna fill in or change, but I will say this, I get carried away with the foundation. And when I am doing my makeup, I'll go all the way into the hairline and then I will have this like foundation thing going on here. And I like to take this and just kind of like cover that up if I've gotten a little crazy and it does the trick. I love this. I think it's so nice. And if you have been on the hunt for some kind of thing to help your hairline, help you know quickly conceal your roots, grays, whatever, this is so nice. All right, boom. Those were 10 items that are underrated and that I think you guys should know about. Be sure to thumbs up this video if you wanna know more if you are like, you like these, then let me know. And also be sure that you are subscribed before you leave, ring the bell so you are notified of my upcoming uploads. I am here five days a week, Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. PST. And I hope you come back and hang out again soon. All right, go have a good one, guys. I love you so much. Thanks for hanging out. Mwah.